Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, and now today I'm going to show you how to use a tool that I think all 3D animators should know how to use, uh, especially 3D animators who use Maya, and that tool is uh, Studio Library. Now Studio Library is a pose and animation library tool that basically allows you to uh, save and transfer both poses and animation from uh, one Maya file over to another Maya file, and now I highly recommend you guys uh, learn this and uh, start using this now because um, in the industry um, you know they might not use studio library specifically but I'm pretty sure uh, that uh, most studios uh, will have a pose library of some sort so uh, yeah in order to get studio library on your own machine just go to this link studiolibrary.com and then click the download button and then after that, it'll download a .zip for you. I'm just going to open it here in my downloads folder. And then once you get that uh, .zip folder, locate a place where you'd like to store all your uh, studio library files. Uh, right now I have this little place on a flash drive where I like to store it. Uh, typically you'd store it to your device, not a flash drive, but I like to transfer my files between uh, my different devices, so that's why I have it right here. And then so once you have that, just uh, drag and drop your little zip file into the folder or location where you want your studio library files and then unzip it. I have seven zips so this is going to be um, easy for me just to extract here. All right and then once it's done with this thing you just uh, you can delete the dot zip it's no longer uh, needed and then also close the download folder because I don't need that anymore and then just open up this little folder and in here is all your files and all you need to do is you see this little install that mail file well all you need to do is open up a new uh, Maya file I'm just gonna open up a uh, different Maya 2022 here alright perfect then once you open this uh, new Maya file. You're gonna want to locate a shelf where you're uh, wanna where you want to store the Studio Library button. As you can see, I have some other tools installed here, and I created my own shelf. And so um, this is where I'm going to be putting the Studio Library. And all you have to do is go back to where you have all your Studio Library files. Uh, click on this install that Mel file, and all you gotta do is drag it and drop it right here into the window. Uh, you would think up here on the shelf, but no, it's right here into the view window and then as you can see a little studio library icon popped up there so all you have to do is click it and then boom studio library opens and as you can see you get this message that says before you get started please choose a folder location for the storing the data a network folder is recommended for sharing within a studio so uh, then what you have to do is asks you to locate where do you want to st store your studio library poses and animations uh, because that I am uh, working on this collaborative film with you guys I'm going to locate the Dropbox and I'm going to store our um, I'm going to store our poses in this pose library uh, folder here and inside the studio library folder so I'm going to click the studio library folder and click select folder and then boom now once that's created you have the studio library folder right here for you and uh, it's just showing all of your config uh, folders and everything like that and in order to get started I recommend making a folder within this uh, folder that you're doing so I'm going to name this folder just uh, something simple poses all right, perfect. And then within this pose folder, this is what this area is where you're going to save all of your poses and your animations. And I'm going to open this file right here, this uh, default uh, pose library file that I have for you to show you what I mean by that. Uh, as you guys see, the studio library icon is right here. I'm going to click studio library to open it, and it opens right into the folder where I set everything. Um, I can probably get rid of this. That's just the search bar. And now what I want to do is I want to save this new antenna pose uh, so that I can use it uh, within animation and I can apply it and show that for you guys so um, what I'm gonna do is normally uh, what I do was uh, I would go in and select each of these individual controls uh, one by one however I created a button for myself just to uh, speed up this process for this video so I'm gonna click this button that selects all of the um, antennas right there and then uh, what you're gonna want to do is uh, go into one window 
window here. Get a good angle um, on, you know, like a, what you think a thumbnail photo would be uh, good for. Then you click this plus icon right here. And now, uh, just like how I created the folder, you can either create a new pose or a new animation. And uh, typically I only use these two options, poses or animation. Um, and I don't really mess with these things. Uh, but a pose essentially is, uh, will allow you to save this pose, uh, as, as, you know, uh, obviously, um, as a file within Studio Library. And an animation is basically the same thing, except if you had pieces moving uh, in a few times, you could uh, save that as well. So, but I'm only going to show you guys how to save poses in this video, uh, just because it's more simple. So I'll click New Pose, and automatically you can see it has 26 objects selected for saving. That's good. That's all of these pieces right here. So I'm going to click this camera icon right here. That's going to capture a nice little thumbnail. Oh, I didn't really like that. Uh, let me adjust that here. Uh, still kind of crappy. Uh, let me do that. Yeah, there we go. That's a better thumbnail. And now I'm just going to call it uh, something simple like uh, default, for example. And we're going to click save. All right, now as you can see, it created the pose uh, right there called default.pose, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. And now let's go over to the animation file scene that I'm working on. And so I can show you guys how this works. So, uh, as, so as you already know, I, I have to open Studio Library here. Uh, sometimes I have to get rid of what's in the search engine. There you go, yeah. Sometimes you get rid of what's in the search engine. Sometimes you press this refresh button to refresh. Uh, sometimes you have to do that to just like reload the plugin. Uh, but yeah, all I have to do now is, uh, oh, another cool thing about Studio Library is that it can recognize uh, what controls were selected uh, based on what was saved here. So if I click something like random on this rig, like a little head control here, I can go here and I can click select content and that'll automatically select all of the things, all of the controls that were saved. So in this case, it selected all of the antennas and that's perfect. And now, um, and another cool thing about uh, Studio Library is it has this little slider here. So you could just, you know, uh, straight up press apply and that instantly applies that pose to your rig. However, you can also go in and you can adjust this slider and it's basically the blend number is the percentage uh, of which the uh, the rig is affected by that pose. So if you only wanted uh, your little antennas or whatever to be affected a little bit, you can go something like 25% or a lot, you go to like 128%. So yeah, you can go beyond 100 or like even below zero to go like backwards for the pose. It's really cool, a really cool feature. But of course, for this example, I'm going to apply it just the base 100%. And uh, now in order to make sure that this pose stays, you gotta set a key and then, as you guys can see, um, I have the pose set on the rig right now, uh, but it doesn't look really well in this uh, in this particular camera view. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these very base parts of these antennas right here. And this is more of just, uh, this isn't really a studio library uh, part of the tutorial, it's just to show you um, that, you know, sometimes when you apply poses, it doesn't really look great in your camera view. So sometimes you have to go just like this, and make some slight tweaks and adjustments so that your little areas that you're posing look good in the camera view. And there we go. And I might adjust this a little bit more off camera, maybe add a few uh, more bends here and there. But uh, yeah, that is basically how to install and use Studio Library in Maya 2022. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. And uh, yeah, like I said, uh, keep practicing as much as you can with Studio Library because um, in the industry, uh, they might not use Studio Library specifically, but I am 99.9% uh, .9 sure that uh, most studios do use a pose library of some kind just to expedite the animation process and um, and also like I said saving and uh, importing a pose is exactly the same process as doing animation uh, just animation involves movement and time so uh, yeah if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to save an animation if it seems a little too complicated just uh, let me know but otherwise yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later goodbye